David, get your feet down. You're going to get us in trouble. I don't think he can hear you. No, I've never been. What? Oh, so you can hear us. Oh, can you show some new spells? <laughs> Sorry, David. I've taken an oath to use magic only when it relates directly to my studies. Outside of dire emergencies, of course. This could be cut! No! Was that an emergency? Ow! Oh, get away! Shoo! I say let them do their thing. Now that our investigation into fairies is over, can we find something fun to do? What are you doing? You've got to let it catch fire first, otherwise it's no good. <sighs> oh. Ah, this takes me back. I'm just going to get a blanket. My aunt came here last night. I followed her while everyone was asleep. It's a hill. <laughs> I lost the map. What? Frida says we should go to the library and do our homework. Not immediately. I also said we should stop and eat lunch at the noodle place. Oh, today is Saturday. Weekend homework should be done as late as possible on a Sunday night in a state of desperation tinged with regret. Or not at all. That also works. I'm sure she's told you how I follow the call of adventure wherever it takes me. To be honest, I sort of figured he died when she was a baby. <gasps> so did I. I assumed it was some kind of horrible illness. I pictured a tragic accident. If only we could get them all in one place. Have them really listen to each other. I suppose we could trap them in a big net or a cage. Hi, Victoria Van Gale, I'm back. Van Gale? I thought she fell into an endless void never to return. At least that's what I hoped. Are you sure you don't want to call and say you're eating here? David? It's pizza night. Come on, David. Let's go. You could just learn to tidy your own flipping room. I can already smell your aunt's potato cakes. We've been through this, David. We're not going to Auntie Astrid's. What? Why? Because she'll stop us from doing what we're here to do. Yep, that's kind of what I was hoping. <gasps> we need some help and some potato cakes. Oh. <laughs> Finally!